Well, it was a wild affair in Portland between the Sounders and the Timbers. Toronto FC proves their depth is there, and Colorado does to Vancouver what the Whitecaps were unable to do against Chivas USA at the start of the season as the Caps go down to 10 men and the Rapids capitalize, beating Vancouver 2-1. to one. It is the, the Vancouver Whitecaps' first loss at home since last August. That happening earlier tonight. Good evening and welcome to Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk right here on AM650 Radio in Vancouver. My name's Tyler Green. You can follow me on Twitter at TylerGreenFC. Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk also available online via a webcast and live streaming at www.am650radio.com. Thank you for listening and possibly watching or for even podcasting us. Like Kia Vancouver on Facebook and be entered to win four tickets to see Vancouver face LA on April 19th. Draw date is April 15th. That's a Tuesday. So get in there uh, and check out their Facebook page today. Colorado, as mentioned, they did what Vancouver uh, was really unable to do against the Chivas in the second game of the season for Vancouver, capitalize on a sending off. In that Chivas game, Vancouver went up a man as a Chivas player was red carded, sent off, but they couldn't take the game to Chivas and win it away from home. We'll fast forward to week five of the season and Colorado goes up a man after Matias Laba is sent off for his second yellow card in the second half. They go after Vancouver, and they end up getting two beautiful goals and winning the match 2-1. I said it in week two. I'm going to say it again now. You need to finish off teams. Colorado, Colorado did that tonight when they had the man advantage. The Whitecaps, they had a chance in the first half. They had a lot of chances. They had some control of the play. They had some ample opportunities in the second half as well to beat Clint Irwin, but he stood on his head, made huge save after huge save. The Whitecaps just couldn't get that all-important second goal, and they ended up paying for it. And Colorado beats the Vancouver Whitecaps 2-1, to one, the final at BC Play Stadium. We're going to get into all of that on the program today, including audio from the Vancouver Whitecaps, head coach Carl Robinson, Andy O'Brien, Jada Merritt, as well as Darren Maddox. We'll also hear from the Colorado side of things. From the coach, some of the players, from Irwin himself after making some of those saves. We'll also hear from the goal scorer for Colorado. Got both of those goals. Already, I would think, is going to be, uh, for his first goal anyway, going to be nominated for goal of the week and has to be in contention for those two goals alone has to be in contention for the player of the week in major league soccer as well uh, elsewhere though there was a lot of big major league soccer uh, games this weekend including a few derby matches and matches of teams that just really have a hate on for one another uh, toronto they battled columbus those two teams uh, and their supporters Long history of hate. Sporting KC and RSL, well, they don't like each other. Seattle and Portland in a Cascadia rivalry. Perhaps even the Texas Derby. It was Houston hosting Dallas. Uh, so the question arose, who does Vancouver hate? Is it Seattle or Portland, one of their Cascadia rivals? Perhaps one of the Canadian teams in Montreal or Toronto? Maybe the 40-year anniversary match between the San Jose Earthquakes and Vancouver is the team that Vancouver hates. Or perhaps it's the divers and cheats of FC Dallas. I have my view, and I'll unveil that in the manager's rant at 11.15 this evening. But until then, I want you to tell us. It's tonight's Barber Poll brought to you by Another Fine Cut, anotherfinecut.com. What MLS team does Vancouver hate very much? You can tweet us your thoughts with the hashtag BarberPoll. 
on Twitter, Soccer Talk 650 or Tyler Green FC. You can also email us at Soccer Talk 650 at gmail.com. You can weigh in on the poll question by phoning us at 604 280 0650. Uh, and maybe one of the, the best places tonight to do that is on their Facebook page where you can answer that question and, and get a little bit more involved with your answer. You're not. Uh, given just 140 characters. You can write paragraph after paragraph if you want. So check out our Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash Soccer Talk Van. The poll question on there as well. It is the Barber Poll, brought to you by anotherfinecut.com. Get the authentic straight razor shave. It's the experience that reminds you you're alive. Three locations, Gastown, Yaletown, and the Financial District. Anotherfinecut.com. If you weigh in on the barber pool today, you're eligible to win a gift certificate to another fine cut for said hot shave or haircut. I hit up the guys uh, about a week and a half ago at anotherfinecut.com. Got all my haircut and shaving needs from them. I recommend you do the same. Simon is going this week to, I think, get the number two on the hair. So he's going to get down to the, the stubble on the hair. He's looking like a, a wildebeest right now. A Yeti, perhaps. Uh, a lot of ways to connect on the show, as mentioned. Twitter, Soccer Talk 650, Tyler Green FC, uh, Simon Fudge, a contributor here on uh, Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk at Simon Fudge 74. Our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Soccer Talk Van. Uh, we have a few announcements and some contests coming from our Facebook page, including a special Soccer Mom Mother's Day contest. Presented by Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk and Trinity Salon and Spa. So make sure that you uh, go to the Facebook page and check it out. Again, it's facebook.com slash soccer talk van. Like it and win the soccer mom in your life. A fantastic, relaxing Mother's Day prize. All the details are on the Facebook page. The crew, of course, here on uh, Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk is... Uh, as always, decked out in the Umbro gear. Simon is rocking the black Umbro polo shirt. It's uh, black on black on black uh, today because I've got the New York Cosmos blackout uh, Umbro gear on tonight, the, the track jacket. Umbro is the official sponsor of our Fantasy League. Like our Facebook page and follow the links to sign up. There's multiple ways to win. We're going to announce March's winner a little bit later in the show. And we're going to tell you about how to win some Umbro gear for yourself in April. So uh, be sure to listen to that coming up in the program. But uh, coming up here in the first half of the program on uh, Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk, contributor Simon Fudge and I are going to dive into the starting 11 as we do uh, each and every Saturday. We'll talk about the Canadian friendly coming up in May. Cristiano Ronaldo getting booed. Liverpool's chances of winning the title in England. Chelsea's goalkeeping situation, plus some Whitecaps chat, including uh, some comments that Carl Robinson made post-match. And Darren Maddox, he scored today. Does that mean the floodgates are going to open up? That all comes up in the starting 11 in just mere moments. As always, it, you can weigh into the program on any topic you choose, whether it's the barber pool or not, at Twitter, Soccer Talk 650. And like I said, you can give us a call at 604 280 0650. Whether you disagree with us or agree with us, what are your thoughts on the starting 11? We'll debut those in just a few minutes and, and you can weigh in as well. The first half uh, is brought to you by BC Soccer online at bcsoccer.net. Follow them on Twitter and Instagram at one BC Soccer, participate in their weekly contests, and learn, learn more about what's happening in soccer across the province. I was uh, very happy to uh, be invited and, and be involved in the, in the uh, Provincial Cup draw, uh, which happened earlier in the week. I did the draw for, uh, well, it was, it was an, an old trophy that they used. I picked out... Uh, the draw for the U21 men, some very exciting matchups, I think, in that one. Uh, Whitecaps legend Carl Valentine, he did the Provincial B Cup draw. 
Uh, Simon Fudge, uh, he's he's in a bit of a dilemma about the uh, Provincial Cup draw here, though, because his current club, I won't say who, but his current club faces his old club. I'll let Simon uh, talk about this a little bit later on, but uh, we're going to get Simon's thoughts in the second hour of the show. Um, which cup ties uh, is he excited about? There's some very good ones uh, coming up, so it, it could be a very interesting uh, provincial Cup draw, whether it's um, the A Cup, the B Cup, the Masters, or the U21, or, the, or the, even the women's uh, side of things. Uh, some very uh, exciting uh, things happening there in the Provincial Cup draw. Always uh, always some drama. And Simon's got some drama himself with uh, his current club facing his old club in the B Cup draw. In the second half of the program, we'll check in with the injury report and David Sandals from Expert Physio online at expertphysio.ca. Mendy Belushi is, uh, Mendy Belushi is, he's getting fit. He's been training this week after an ACL repair. Perhaps the reason uh, the Whitecaps might have picked him up in, in that uh, draft. Um, obviously, talent is, is involved there. But some teams might have passed on him because of that ACL injury. But maybe the Caps picked him because they have the confidence that they can get him back to full health. So David Sandals is going to talk about that and that White Caps physio crew. Uh, Sandals is also has a view on Christian Benteke, who uh, ruptured his Achilles. He's going to miss the World Cup. Also can't be involved uh, with his club side now as well for, uh, well, at least six months. But is he going to be out six months? And what is it going to take for him to get back to full fitness? That's coming up at 11 p.m. here on Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk. And also uh, tonight, we're going to try and connect with Declan Hill. He, uh, he wrote The Fix and his latest book, The Insider's Guide to Football Corruption. He's over in uh, Norway right now giving a lecture. And uh, we're going to try to connect with them in the second half of the program around 11.45 tonight. Really all depends on technology. Fingers crossed that we're going to be able to get a hold of him. He's got a UK cell phone. He says it's spotty at best as to whether we'll be able to track him down uh, with that cell phone. So uh, all the best that we're going to try uh, our, our hardest and best to uh, get Declan Hill on to talk about corruption in football right now there's um uh, just earlier and we'll, we'll talk about this in the starting 11 but uh the football league uh I, I believe it was seven more arrests um happening earlier in the week and preston north end being investigated as well so uh, a lot of stuff happening with corruption and gambling in the sport and a lot of players perhaps taking some bets and and uh, doing that sort of thing. So we will uh, delve into that with Declan Hill at about 11.45 this evening. Throughout the program, we'll hear from the Whitecaps players and head coach Carl Robinson uh, following tonight's result. Again, a Whitecaps 2-1 loss against the Colorado Rapids. And un as always, a few other things. The manager's rant. We'll have key questions tonight. Uh, we're getting the kid kids involved again, so we'll hear from that in a, a new segment tonight on Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk called Hot Fudge with Simon Fudge. And and basically what this, this segment is, if you could see one thing, whether it's a movie, or if you could do one thing, you know, if you go for a run on the seawall. Uh, um, getting the kid, kids involved again, so we'll hear from that in a, a new or, segment tonight. Or um, perhaps... I don't know what 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 could we say? You know, listening to a certain music, going to a certain movie. Well, Simon's going to tell us what that one thing is that we should do this week. And as always, we're going to finish off the show. The final cut. It's brought to you by AnotherFineCut.com. Once again, you're listening to Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk on AM650 Radio in Vancouver. Online AM650Radio.com. My name's Tyler Green. Canadian friendlies. Cristiano Ronaldo, Liverpool's chances of winning it all, Chelsea's goalkeeping situation, and will the goals start to flood in for Darren Maddox now that he has his first goal of the season? Contributor Simon Fudge and I will debate the issues in the starting 11 next.